<laughs> I'm Kimmy, and I'm going to show y'all how to paint an abstract landscape painting. The first step is to choose your color palette. So here I have seven colors, but I only end up using six because I didn't add the maroon flowers to my painting. Um, but you can go on Pinterest for inspo to find different palettes of colors that may match your living room or your bedroom or the type of mood that you want to portray with your painting. And I'll have some examples here. Here is a pastel ocean theme, a summer floral theme, a retro surfing theme, and a dramatic floral theme. Okay, let's get started. So I ended up using an old canvas that I found at a thrift store for $10. So I'm painting over the old painting and you can kind of see the lines and textures underneath my paint. But that's okay because they'll add that element to my painting once it's done and i also am using heavy body paint and house paint and that way i will have full coverage and i think it's really important to use good quality paint for these types of projects hi okay so my hair is a mess get it together kim get it together there we go there we go I'm growing my hair out so please be patient with me thanks okay so next step is to lay down the outline of each island the water and the Sun so I'm just using a little bit of white paint if you have a white canvas you can do it with a pencil or I would choose a light colored paint um, to do the outline so here is my first island. I started about a third up from the left of the canvas and I'm bringing it down towards the right bottom corner. Yes, I'm defining the island. Now I'm gauging where I should put the second island. So it's about halfway up my canvas. I'm gonna start the, the top of my island, two thirds above my canvas, the edge of my canvas. On the right side, I'm gonna bring it down and then across the halfway point. Now I'm just defining and reshaping my second island. Oh no, I'm adding the water line. Okay, so about a third down my canvas will be where the ocean water line goes. So I have two islands and the ocean. And now I'm gonna define my second island to the shape that I want. And that is the shape of the second island. Okay, and now this is my third island. It's gonna be the smallest one because it's in the distance. And I'm just gonna lay a tiny little island above the water line. Looks like I'm reshaping my bottom island to more rounded shape and you can do whatever shapes you wish for with your islands since this is an abstract painting everyone's gonna be a little different and that's okay I'm checking out my islands Okay, it seems like I'm happy with them. So now I'm adding the sun and I'm so sorry. I'm like standing in front of the painting and blocking everything from your view. I'll do better next time. Okay, so I'm adding the sun, which is just a little circle in the top 
middle. Oh, now you can see it. Okay. There is the sun. And those are all the shapes that are laid out. That's needed to paint the island painting. The island landscape painting. Okay, so once you have all your shapes laid out, you just have to reference the palette and from there you just fill in the blocks. Alright, this is me dancing to Rem Sem Sem on Lulu Kids. I have to entertain Blake while I paint <laughs> so she doesn't cry. So as your paint is drying, you can kind of coordinate where you're gonna put all your colors. And here I'm filling in the first island with my uh, peachy beige color that I mixed with red, yellow, and white. And I didn't completely mix the paint all together. That way, when I painted it on the canvas, it showed kind of a gradient from the different colors of red and yellow. Um, see see how I put that red one on there and it kind of shows the red so yeah I did that on purpose and when you mix paint you can do that or you can blend it together just whatever you like whatever you think looks good I think the most important thing with the paint is that you choose a palette that you like and like I said a heavy bodied paint because if you pick a thin type of acrylic paint, then it's gonna show through and it won't have that bold color at the end. So yeah. I chose this color for my first island because it looks kind of like sand and I like the pastel type color. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of my islands and fill in the water and the sun. And that's it. Let's see how it turns out. As I was painting the ocean water, I didn't bring it all the way down to island one. And I kind of like that look because the lighter blue looks like where the waves would crash into the sand and have that foamy color. So I kind of just left it like that. And here is the mauve pink color for island three. And as I was painting island three, I brought it down a little bit below the top of the water line to create a um, depth effect in the back. Yes, so right there, see how it goes? under the top of the ocean line. That way it looks like the ocean goes even beyond Island 3. So it's also really important to have your lines be really clean and with heavy body paint, I feel like that's easier. You can slap on a lot of paint and it just glides nicely and makes really defined lines. 
So here I'm just taking a tip from Leonardo da Vinci. He said that when he painted The Last Supper, he would step back and kind of look at his painting and take it all in, maybe give it an hour before he makes his next paint stroke. But I don't have time for an hour, so I just kind of like to gauge it for maybe a minute or so, and then I go back and add in the finishing touches like straightening out my line and making some of them more clean or more solid just to add the final details to make the whole picture come together nicely and the final touch is the gold paint to make the sun i don't know why i'm showing it to y'all like a makeup brush but here it is the gold pen Thanks for watching and if you like what you saw please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel until next time bye hi y'all